Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another season 10 educational riffing gameplay guide guys today we're going over about the Irelia matchup as riffing guys and this matchup is actually a really fun one to do it actually comes down to um, to whoever is better in the laning phase that will basically win oh she did like really mess up there already all right guys so Riven actually has a much better level 1 than Irelia at level 1. Unless she gets like the 5 stacks. Uh, unless she gets it like... Which I doubt. If you play a court... Like if you play good like level 1. She doesn't really get the, the 5 stacks off if you like kind of like push it in. As long as Irelia doesn't get the 5 stacks off. Technically, you're winning this matchup, but you do have to be really careful though because around level 3 she can actually all in you very easily with uh, the passive and the stunts and everything, so you gotta be careful. Actually, Ringer here. Ah, he doesn't get me. He's going for the level 2 gank here. Okay. Okay. Accidentally messed up there, took a little bit too much damage. Anyways, uh, for the four runes as well as the full build against Aurelia, like the best setup for Riven against Aurelia, you can all find it in the description, guys. So I definitely recommend you guys to check that out. And with that being said, we have to stand back right now. We are not able to trade with her at all right now because the creeps are currently too massive for her. There's too many creeps on her side at the moment. So... Even if we would just go for a simple trade, um, she would follow it up and all the creeps would focus me, so that's not a good idea. So, ideally what you want to do in a matchup like this one is pretty simple. Irelia is extremely weak to pushing in the lane, basically. Like, every single time you're freezing around this side of the lane, you can trade her very very easy like every single time she goes for cs you can like pop your qw auto attack and then you can go back out again you can trade her very easily like this she's not able to go for the all-in with her passive she's really weak to uh to like short trading and as soon as she gets below like 70 percent health you can actually do it like this where you pop your entire combo and you get a free kill and that's how this matchup goes, guys. Like, really. If the lane is being shoved in to Irelia, right? If she happens to get the five stacks, she can all in Riven very, very easily. So you want to avoid this at all costs, guys. You want to avoid this all the time. You never want to fight her whenever she has like five stacks because that means it's game over. So, I'm saying it once more. This matchup, and I'm very serious about this, you have to freeze around your side of the lane. You have to. There are some exceptions where you can push in the lane, like, forward, because you're about to be reaching, like, level 6 or anything like that. But generally, you want to sit back. And keep on short trading until she's like low enough and then just go for the all in and and you basically win. So currently the lane is being pushed in towards me again and the creeps are about to end up right here outside of my turret. So what we're going to do. She has to reset the lane right now, otherwise she's going to be losing a lot of farm. And if she goes for that CS, we are going to trade her again. And we're gonna keep on trading her over and over until she's like low enough. Okay, if she walks up to reset this lane right here to take that cannon, I can do like one W, one auto. Watch. Okay, she actually used her W for that, so that means that she no longer has it. She has to come closer to me to take the CS, and if she uses her W right now, I can all in her. Watch. Okay, that's pretty smart. Okay, she's actually managed to get the creeps. Okay, I can try her. 
she doesn't have any mana anymore because she used everything to get the farm, guys. What? So, she had one choice there. Wait and don't do anything or give me a kill for free. Because she used up every single ability. She, she has used all her mana to get the existing or to get the last farm. And that made her very vulnerable to um, to losing this year. So now, we don't want to go back to base yet. We just want to be placing a war down. And we want Aurelia to be pushing in the lane again. Like, this matchup, I'm going to say it once more, guys. If you know the way how this matchup works, if you completely know it in your head, like everything that happens, it's like playing in your mind. If you know how this matchup works completely, it's pretty much impossible to lose this matchup. It's pretty much impossible, unless you make like a very, very big mistake. Okay, she's giving in herself for this, like that would like, she was actually risking pretty high there to get me down, but I saw that coming. That's something that a lot of the Aurelia players do quite a lot, actually. Like, they wait out your abilities. As soon as you use all your abilities, they will go for you all in, even if you're on her tower. And it often works, but I already knew that she was going to do this, so I kept my, uh, my Q. And I was standing very, very close to the tower so that she would get, like, um, so that she would tank, like, a lot. All right, so we're gonna go back here. We're gonna be buying, or you know what? Nah, I was actually thinking about it, but I won't. Uh, we're gonna be going for a longsword here, and there we go. I was actually thinking about going for dustplate this game, but then again, dustplate is not really worth at all at the moment. It it, it works. Dustplate is not really that bad, but it's. Not worth going for at this moment. Okay, so once again, Aurelia is not able to freeze because the lane was being reset. So we're just going to be sitting here and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to be making her tilt. That's her W. She doesn't have ult ultimate right now, so I'm just going to go for the in. She had, she used her W to get the CS. And we knew that her ultimate was still down. We knew it. Like, her ultimate was about 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds at most. So, we immediately went in again, and we got, like, another kill. So, now we can push in again. Like, for those people, Riven against Aurelia is my favorite matchup. Like, I have three favorite matchups. Garen, Jax... And Aurelia. Like, those three matchups are... They are my dream. If I play against a Garen... Or Jax... I am... Enjoying the matchup. I am enjoying it. Because these matchups are pretty easy to win. Uh, if you know what you're doing. It's really easy to win those. Alright. She's going to all in me if I press this Q. Alright, she doesn't. Okay. Let's go back here real quick. I want to get the plating. So I'm just going to wait for the plating to almost get destroyed there. Thank you. Now I can fight her. She has the passive, so I'm just going to back off until the passive runs out. Yeah, she's going to look for like a an all-in at the moment. She's holding her passive, so she wants me to walk into that direction right now. If I walk into this direction, she would pop everything on me and I would die instantly. Good. I can just relax. Let's see what she's going to do. I'm just going to be pushing it in so I can make my way back soon. I think I can actually all in her before her knowing it. Let's see. She does not expect this. 
Okay. Her passive ran out. Now I can all in her. She has uh, flash. Nice. Now we can push in the tower. Like this guy's done for. We we killed him five times. Even he even got gank early on. So once again, guys, this matchup is a skill matchup. Whoever is better at this lane wins. Whoever is better at their champion basically wins. And I think, I think in a in a match where Riven and Aurelia are equally as good, I think Riven still wins. I think Riven still does because technically if you if you don't make a single mistake and you perfectly calculate what Aurelia is going to do then she doesn't really make a chance because she has she has to play around her passive to make things work. Without the passive of Aurelia she's not going to do anything to you so she's kind of being like limited to what she can do. So I can go back right now. Get my black lever, come back really strong. Oh, I need 40. Oh, really? We gotta wait. We gotta wait 20 gold, guys. And I'm gonna lose like an entire wave. Uh, it's not really worth it, but... Whatever. Nice. So... Um, as for like the snowballing build, um, I recommend you guys to go for the Ghostblade build if you're snowballing insanely hard within the laning phase. If not, then I always recommend you guys to go for the Death Stance build instead. That's pretty much um, what matters. That's pretty much in terms of like builds. I always recommend people to go for the Ghostblade build if they're snowballing because... You're going to get a lot of damage, and it's not really that expensive to buy either. Oh, hello, Rengar. I mean, I know you're coming top lane, but don't even try, because I got like 5 kills right now, dude. <laughs> don't even bother to try. And you don't try. I really please don't try. Because I'm currently three levels higher. And there's no way that you make a chance. Oh, Ayasa, why are you both? Why are you all of you trying? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, that was a 1v2 without ult. But anyway. Um, back to the point itself. Don't try to 1v1 uh, or 1v3 in a ribbon. Because we have too much... Too many kills. Too much farm. That's not gonna work. Uh, but anyways. So. Now the only thing we have to do. Is to get the tower done for. Which is gonna be easy to do. We can just die fairly on our tower. Uh, also just gonna buy a control ward. Here we go. Yasuo's actually popping off right now. He's got 6 kills too, but I think there's nothing to worry about. Here we go. Ariana's gonna show up. I'm just gonna try to cheese her like in one of the bushes here. Here we go. I think she's gonna pass. I think she will. There's no ward. Yeah. Like, th this way, man. I am getting so many kills this way. So many. Because people don't expect you to be in that bush. Most people. Most people don't expect you to be in there. Okay. She's gonna come again. We can just stay. We can see if that's like a red buff. 
There's no red buff anymore. And there's no other camp either. Are we really just going to be back top lane right now? Let's see. She might consider warding it first. Or she doesn't. Let's see. I'm just going to wait here. I'll just be super patient because... Most people that play top lane and lose like lane really hard. Um, most people either wait on our tower or they pass around here. So I'm, I'm just going to have to be... Uh, I'll just have to wait right now. Okay. She has shown up. We got her again. Two seconds. One. Go. Okay. She flashed away. No problem. Because that means that the next time she doesn't have flash anymore and we, we can still kill her. There are no wards, I think, but I'm just going to go back anyway. I can get my next item now, which is going to be the Hydra. Yes. Now, as far as how Hydra goes, a lot of people are asking questions about Hydra, like wh why I don't build it that much and why sometimes I uh, happen to build it like this game, for example. The thing is, you can buy Hydra into any kind of game where you want to do like a flash play but most importantly you can build a hydra if the enemy opponents don't really have any tanks so i really has not a i really is not a tank ranger's not a tank yells is not a tank either i can kill them pretty easily with a single combo I can kill them pretty easily with a single combo, and if I use my team out for that, then it's like an entire extra uh, odd attack kind of uh, to bring them down pretty fast. It gives damage, it gives lifesteal, it gives like an extra opportunity to do more damage to more people. There's no reason not to build it. Okay, it's going to be the battle between me and Yasser here. It's going to be the battle. No problem, I'll take that battle. Let's see. Yeah, where's your flash right now? <laughs> Yep. Like, <laughs> this is the battle between me and Dariusu right now. <laughs> this will be a fun match. This will be a really fun match. Very nice. Let's see if somebody's going to pass here. Okay, got her again. Thank you very much. The Yasus get. Oh, I like this game. Like, I really like this game because this guy is also snowballing. <laughs> this, this is this is a fun match here. Okay, next on, we're going to be getting a Sterx Gauge, and uh, that's um, a pretty good item to rush into, especially into champions like Rengar, who. Uh, who can do like an insane amount of damage very quick. Let's see. Well, Yasuo, today you're going to be losing your leads. Nice. I couldn't, I couldn't really see if I was jumping on Yasuo. Okay. 
I couldn't really see if I was jumping on the outside. I think I jumped on the wrong two. Nice. Oh, she's no problem for me. Oh! Most people don't expect like four Qs in one E. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's this happening? Leak bug. All right. I'm expecting people to pass here very soon. I'm going to take the blue buff on my own too. No! They're actually a lot more tanky than I expected because they have Tarek who gives armor to Misfortune as well. So they actually had they actually had a lot of armor there. And the only solution to that is actually going for Last Whisper. But we don't have that yet right now. We will soon though. They have a lot of armor already. So, if I actually wait out a little bit for my, um, if I actually wait out just a little bit with my Starx Gauge, I'll just get Last Whisper real quick. And then we will get, like, the Starx after. I'm gonna upgrade my Last Whisper first right now. Let's go bottom first. We're gonna be farming out everything we can in bot lane, and then we're gonna go mid lane and then help out my teammates. Oh, I'm just gonna chase down this guy. An enemy has been slain. I'll be faster than this guy. I got Ghostblade. Like, this is the power of Ghostblade. This is why Ghostblade is such a good item, because you can chase down people like this guy. Oh, whoops. Should have lined up a little bit more properly. Okay. We're getting a lot of flashes this game. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't wait longer for my combo to come back unfortunately. All right. So, the thing that went wrong in this team fight was actually pretty simple. My Morgana tried to go for the all in into them cuz I think that she thought that I had my ult. I think it must have been this. I already used my ultimate to get to Misfortune earlier. And now with this team fight starting, I need my ultimate to be able to kill somebody with like a single combo, right? I couldn't really kill anyone at all in this fight. And meanwhile, there's like Yasu who's got like who's got like 13 kills right now. So that was a very bad team fight there. It was a really bad one. Despite they also have like all the dragons right now, so we will have to get this dragon, otherwise it's going to be very, very tough. We'll see about this. Use kill bolt for me. Okay, let's go for the red, uh, Inverno. Okay. Should be a win for my team. Nice. Now they can take the dragon. That one's gonna help a lot. Nice. 
They can also force like they can also force the bottom tower at the moment. If they if my team is smart, they would take at least every single camp that they can possibly find in the in the jungle and then um, go back afterwards, but they seem to already go back, which is unfortunate. Okay. Going for a last whisper this game is also pretty good. I mean uh, a guardian's angel, but I'm gonna go for Stax uh, Gage first. Maybe we can swap like the boots later on. Or getting like a death stance is also pretty good. Alright, let's go. We can get like a catch on somebody. Uh, let me get to level 18 real quick too. There we go. Let's see if there's any wards down here. Very nice. Nice. Just have to wait for that creep right there. Yeah, I, I like this game. This is like the battle between uh, me and the also getting like a lot of kills. Oh! She does a lot of damage for just two items there. She actually did a lot of damage for just two items there. When I'm when I'm like four levels ahead of her. Huh. That's pretty strong. Oh. Okay. Oh, they don't get her unfortunately. They're getting out damaged. Okay, we will soon have the Sark's Gate as well, which is going to help, like, uh, which is going to prevent us from being killed within a single shot, so. Let's go and go mid lane again. This time I have flash in about 65, so if I get my flash, I can easily kill that Yasa within seconds. I'll just be pushing now. And since I have my flash, uh, we can just go mid, force like a fight, and that's it. Nice. They're currently not showing up anywhere. I got a red trinket, but I don't think they have placed anything here. Nice try. We'll have to back off first to see where everyone's going. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, there's nothing I can uh, do about that guy, unfortunately. Rengar, uh, Rengar can see me. Okay, uh, they're about to get the last dragon. I'm afraid. Oh, really? They actually went as far as going here? Wait, they didn't have any wards because the last time I killed Aurelia, there were no wards down the, down here. There were no wards. So they actually randomly went in there to hope that I was in there. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go for this right now. I'll be replacing my boots very soon.
They will, they will get the last dragon. One up against four. She missed the Q. That basically came down to Morgana hitting the Q right there. Which, for some reason, she queued way too early. But it's okay. I'll have to build my next item now. My next item is going to be a Trinity Force. Yes. I'll just be farming. When nothing happens. Red buff spawning soon too. I'll just take the red buff for my own once it spawns. Yasuo is going to show up right here. Going to push it out. Oh, let's see if we can do something here. I'll be pushing out the next wave too. Just so we can force them. Here we go! Hmm. We didn't get the kill ultimate. I don't know who she ulted. Actually, I don't know. I think, uh, I think if kill actually ulted me I could have been alive and I could have killed all of them actually I 1v1 the Aurelia so she was completely out of the fight as soon as I killed her I jumped on on Rengar and I killed him as well I've also got a multiple hit onto the opponents on the backline and I've nearly killed the Yasuo on my own as well and surprisingly Surprisingly, with all of these things happening, we're actually losing. So, I've actually done the entire fight in a single go. But we didn't win. Because my... Okay, let's be honest. I did not have an AD carry. We had a Morgana AD carry who basically did nothing. It's a user's pick. And we had like a Swain hard losing. And we our jungle didn't do much either. We, they had like every single dragon. They had four dragons. But yeah, anyways, it was a very unfortunate game, but let's keep it realistic, guys. I can win 99% of every single game, but there's always going to be this tiny 1% that I just don't get to carry um, if I'm like smurfing in like gold or platinum elo. So you, we cannot win every single game, but anyways... Um, Hopefully this was a learning experience for you guys. Once again, you can find the full ruins, full build. You can find it all in the description, guys. I recommend you guys to check that out. Also, don't forget to check out my stream if you want to see Challenger River Games. And with that being said, don't forget to follow my Instagram. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.